Earth's cave systems are nothing to sneeze at. Some caves are so dangerous that they have been sealed, while others are safe enough that the general public can take guided tours. But it's only thanks to brave spelunkers that we've found giant crystals, glow worms and real baby dragons in these magnificent caverns. And these discoveries were just the beginning. The Cave Castle Prejima Castle is an unusual castle located in a cave at the end of a valley in Slovenia. It is famous for being the largest cave castle in the world. Its history dates back to the 13th century, and its renaissance facade from the 1580s adds a touch of grandeur to this impressive structure. Even seemingly ordinary details, like the castle's toilet, have interesting stories. The castle's history is linked to Erasmus von Lug, a local Robin Hood-like figure who took refuge there after a duel that resulted in the death of an earl and a siege of the castle. Erasmus stood his ground and used secret tunnels to survive, even sending cherries to his enemies from a distant valley through underground passages. Finally, he was betrayed and killed by a cannonball while using the toilet. But this next cave also has its own story, the Holy Well of Cornwall. The charming town of Holy Well attracts tourists, and is famous for its holy well cave. The name of the town comes from this well, which is only revealed at low tide. At the northern end of the beach there is a cave that leads to a freshwater spring, and it is said that ancient monks performed baptisms there. The rock formations leading to the pool resemble a staircase. However, there is another version of the story that says that the well had healing properties and that parents used to bring sick children to immerse them in its cold waters. There are no Christian symbols near the well, so this story may also be true. Finding the holy well can be a bit tricky, as there are no signs marking it, and it sits discreetly at the end of the beach, where the cliffs almost reach the shore. The cave entrance has striking mineral deposits that make it beautiful but slippery. Although the waters are clear, what if they were a little more colorful? Ruby Falls, Tennessee Deep within the caverns of Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee, Ruby Falls is a spectacular underground waterfall that falls 145 feet down a massive vertical shaft, making it the tallest underground waterfall in America. These caves have a rich history, having been used as a shelter during the Civil War and later sealed due to railroad construction. It was an amateur speleologist named Leo Lambert who rediscovered them by digging a tunnel in the mountain and named the waterfall Ruby Falls in honor of his wife. Today, Ruby Falls is illuminated with colorful lights that create a stunning visual spectacle. Like many other Lookout Mountain caves, it features an impressive collection of stalactites and stalagmites in various forms. The view of the waterfall illuminated by colored lights makes it look like something out of a fairy tale, or a nightclub. And that is precisely the purpose of this next cave, the Lost River Cave. In Bowling Green, Kentucky is the Lost River Cave, surrounded by forests on more than 60 acres. This natural wonder is home to a river that flows underground. Throughout its history it has had diverse uses, from a nightclub to a sawmill, Civil War camp, and landfill. The impressive limestone walls surrounding the underground river extend for about seven miles below Bowling Green. Today, visitors can explore it through guided tours, boat rides, and kayaking. The cave also has an earlier history, being used by Native Americans as a shelter and water source. The establishment of the first sawmill was a turning point, as water powered the mill and cleaned away waste. During the Civil War, the cave served as a shelter for Confederate and Union troops at different times, with the limestone walls engraved with the names and details of nearly 40,000 Union soldiers who camped there. But in the next cave, we found markings of a different kind, Cresswell Crags. Cresswell Crags is a limestone gorge on the border between Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire that holds prehistoric secrets. The caves, crevices and rock shelters have been explored by archaeologists since the 19th century, unearthing relics that were underground. Protective markings called which marks have also been discovered in a remote cave in the gorge. These marks are more than 60,000 years old and are called apotropaic marks because they were used to ward off bad energies. 
These markings are found on the walls and ceilings of caves, often near dark areas. Although Cresswell Crags houses the largest collection in the UK, the majority is in an inaccessible chamber for security reasons. These marks show us how people protected themselves from invisible forces in the past. But now, let's explore a more welcoming and accessible cave, Janolan Caves. The Janolan Caves in Australia are famous for being one of the most impressive and ancient cave systems in the world. They are located in New South Wales, about 109 miles west of Sydney, and cover an extensive reserve of 7,620 acres. These caves are known for their beautiful calcite formations and also contain Silurian marine fossils. The cave system follows the course of the underground Janolan River, with more than 300 entrances spanning more than 25 miles. The caves are an ongoing exploration site and have been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Blue Mountains region due to their environmental importance. The name Janolan is believed to come from an indigenous word meaning foot-shaped high place. Another unlikely theory associates the name with the initials J.E. Nolan, but this interpretation is viewed with skepticism. Now, let's explore a cave with a much more obvious name. Reed Flute Cave, China. Within Gillen is the Reed Flute Cave, a natural wonder. Upon entering, you are met with sparkling dew-covered stalagmites that create a magical atmosphere. The cave is illuminated with colorful lights that highlight massive natural formations, making it look like an underground fantasy kingdom. An underground river flows calmly through the cave, reflecting the beauty above and amplifying its natural splendor. Inside, you'll find unique formations that resemble mythological creatures or human structures, such as the Statue of Liberty. But what do you think would be found inside a cave closed for five million years, completely isolated from the outside world? Dinosaurs, prehistoric insects, extraterrestrial life? Nobody knew until Dr. Christian Lasca in Romania managed to open the cave after 5.5 million years. Movo Cave in Romania has remained isolated from the outside world for millions of years. A limestone rock blocked the cave entrance at the same period when our prehistoric ancestors were beginning to evolve into humans. When scientists finally opened it in the 21st century, they discovered that the inhabitants of Movo Cave are truly unique. This cave in Romania has been sealed for millions of years, creating unique conditions inside. Although toxic and oppressive, researchers consider it a treasure. Fewer than 100 people have entered the cave since its discovery in 1986. It is protected by limestone shafts and tunnels, and can currently only be accessed with special permission. The air inside has low oxygen content and high levels of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. There is no sunlight and the temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The smell of rotten eggs indicates the presence of hydrogen sulfide, which is extremely lethal. The cave has allowed extraordinary life to flourish, including chemosynthetic bacteria that could help tackle greenhouse gases. Most of the cave's inhabitants are blind and colorblind. They don't need sight or beauty in complete darkness. They are thin, with long legs and antennas to orient themselves in the dark. The presence of chemosynthetic microbes makes them look like aliens. Instead of photosynthesis, they obtain energy and carbon through chemical reactions, such as the oxidation of sulfur or ammonium. It is not known how the animals got to the cave or how they became trapped there. There are 48 different species, including spiders, scorpions and centipedes. Surprisingly, 33 of them are unique to this cave and are not found anywhere else on Earth. They have been there longer than humans have existed, but their discovery was delayed due to isolation in the closed cave. Most of the creatures in the cave are blind and lack pigmentation. They have developed antennae and long limbs to move without relying on sight. They are unlike anything we have seen before in an environment without sunlight. The evolution in this place seems strange. The area has a unique ecosystem that takes advantage of the dangerous gases in the cave. Some species can thrive on these gases, although we cannot survive on them. 
bacteria perform chemosynthesis, converting harmful gases into food. This chemical process provides energy and food to these bacteria, similar to photosynthesis in plants. Smaller organisms feed on bacteria and are then consumed by larger animals, such as scorpions and spiders. In turn, worms, shrimp and other small creatures feed on the bacteria. This self-sustaining life cycle allows everything in the cave to live and thrive. Movo Cave is a unique environment on dry land, similar to environments found in the deep ocean near hydrothermal vents. Researchers have had access to this cave for many years and hope to obtain new data on evolution. Although experts still don't understand how the animals got to the cave, some bacteria are thought to have been there for much longer than 5 million years, while other animals may have accidentally fallen in before the cave was sealed. These animals have adapted to survive with the limited resources available. More than 50 species have been discovered in the cave, including poisonous and predatory insects such as the centipede. Although scientists have known about the cave for a long time, much remains to be discovered, and the new finds are expected to offer valuable insights into evolution and life itself. Israeli scientists discovered an ancient ecosystem in an underground cave near the town of Ramli. This cave, located 328 feet underground in a limestone quarry, has been protected from the outside world for millions of years. Eight previously unknown species were found there, including crustaceans and invertebrates that resemble scorpions and shrimp. The cave ecosystem is special and secluded, with passages stretching for approximately 1.5 miles. The discovery highlights our lack of knowledge about life on our planet and the importance of continued research. The creatures in the cave have been protected by a layer of chalk impervious to water and external nutrients. These species depend on a self-sufficient and independent ecosystem, in contrast to animals that depend on the photosynthetic food chain. Although there are other similar caves in Mexico and Romania, none are as remote as this Israeli cave. The Rising Star Cave system in South Africa has revealed discoveries that challenge our ideas about human evolution. Before the first signs of burial by modern humans, evidence was found that an ancient and mysterious human species buried their dead and left carvings on cave walls. This suggests that these behaviors were not exclusive to the more intelligent Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, as previously believed. In 2013, during excavations in the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa, the first fossils of Homo nality were discovered. These caves are part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is considered the birthplace of humanity. In this region, researchers have found fossils of several species of early human ancestors, contributing to our understanding of the history of human evolution. Dr. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist and National Geographic Explorer-in-Residence, has led a team of explorers in investigating vast and dangerous cave systems. Their goal is to learn more about extinct hominins and early human ancestors. Recently, the team made a significant discovery, skeletons of adult and juvenile homonality that were preserved in the fetal position in depressions in the cave floors. These burials date back at least 100,000 years before known Homo sapiens burials. During exploration of the tombs in the cave, markings were found on the walls, including geometric designs and cross lines similar to hashtags. These marks are estimated to be between 241 and 335,000 years old, although more testing is required to confirm their exact age. Homo nality has been found to have practiced intentional burials, used symbols, and engaged in meaning-related activities. These findings suggest that these early human ancestors were involved in sophisticated rituals associated with death, indicating that symbolic behaviors are not unique to humans and may not be novel. Homo nality were characterized by having smaller heads, shorter statures and a more robust build than humans, but they also walked upright and used their hands to manipulate objects. Numerous Homo nality fossils have been discovered in the caves, including adults and newborns providing information about their population. Furthermore, Homo nality was observed to be very familiar with the cave system and used it extensively. 
The theory that this species intentionally deposited its dead in caves was controversial due to the size of its brain and has been widely discussed. In 2018, researchers discovered that Homo nality deliberately buried their dead in oval holes in the cave. They found bodies rolled up in tombs carved into horizontal slopes, showing they were not transported accidentally. The bodies were completely covered in soil before decomposing, showing that they were buried as complete human entities. They also found carvings on the wall and a tool buried next to an adult Homo nality. The walls of the cave had geometric engravings made in dolomite, a very resistant rock. There is no evidence that humans have been in the caves, suggesting that Homo nality made the engravings. Additionally, Homo nality used fire inside the caves, as evidenced by the soot, charcoal, and burned bones found in them. Homo nality symbols and burials suggest significant behaviors, but researchers are unsure of their meaning or whether they served as a form of interspecies communication. Several species, including Homo nality, Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans engaged in behaviors previously thought to be unique to humans. This challenges our ideas about when hominins began using fire, creating meaning, and burying their dead. Researchers continue to study Homo nality to learn more about its age, relationship to humans, and the possibility of finding DNA in bones found in caves.